Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. This is the part 2 of the EFK stack on Raspberry Pi playlist and in this video we are going to install FluentD on Raspberry Pi, Elasticsearch and Kibana. So let's get started. Now after the update command we need to install aptitude so for that I will write sudo apt get install aptitude. I have already installed this so it is showing me the newest version is installed. After this we need to install ruby so sudo aptitude install ruby dev. Ruby installation is done. So once Ruby is installed, we need to install fluentd via gem command. So for that, sudo gem install fluentd. This will install fluentd. So Fluentd is installed. After the installation, we also need to install some of its plugins like TD Agent and Elasticsearch. So let's first start with TD Agent. So for that, we will write Fluent Gem install Fluent plugin TD. Now this is installed. Let's also install the Elasticsearch plugin. So sudo Fluent gem install fluent plugin elasticsearch ok so the setup is now complete now if you type in fluent and if you press tab it should show you some of the options like fluent <coughs> fluent ctl fluent d which means that fluent d has properly installed on our Raspberry Pi. Now let's install Elasticsearch and Kibana. Now there are many options of installing Elasticsearch and Kibana. You can either host them on a cloud, on AWS, on Azure or you can also install them on, on any Windows machine or a Linux machine. You can even install them on Raspberry Pi but I wouldn't recommend that because it's too heavy for a Raspberry Pi to handle all the Elastic and the Kibana's deployment. So we are going to install Elasticsearch and Kibana on Windows machine. So let's do that now. Now we are going to install Elasticsearch and Kibana on Windows machine but if you want to install it on Ubuntu machine you can still follow the process. I have already made videos on how to install Elastic and Kibana on Ubuntu. You can watch those videos. Now let's simply type download Elasticsearch. Click on download Elasticsearch and we are going to download the Windows version but you can also install for Mac OS and the Linux version. So I'll click on Windows. This will install, this will ask you to install the zip file but I've already downloaded this so I'm not going to install or download it again. Now in the similar way we can install Kibana. So let's type in download Kibana and similarly we are going to install it for Windows but if you want you can also download it for Linux and Mac as well. So just click on Windows. This will also ask you to save the zip file. Now once you have installed, downloaded the zip file, you need to extract it. So after extracting you will find these two folders for Elasticsearch and Kibana. Now first let's go to the Elasticsearch. Inside this click on bin and here you find this elasticsearch.bat file. So this is the file which you will run in order to start your Elasticsearch server. But if you start, if you run this file, the Elasticsearch will be started on the local host. Now in our case, we are going to connect to Elasticsearch from Raspberry Pi. So in that case, we will not be able to use local host as our host. So we need to update the IP address instead of local host. So for that, let's go back and go to the configs directory and open elasticsearch.yml. 
Now inside this, you need to mention the IP address you are currently connected to. So for example, in our case, in our Windows machine, we are connected to we are connected to 192.168.119. Now for that, I have I have enabled this line network host and I've mentioned the IP address previously this will be commented so you just need to just like this so you just need to uncomment it and mention your IP address here after this you also need to uncomment this line which says the port number now after this you also need to mention this line discovery seed host and you need to mention the IP address of your router once you do that click save click close this file and go back to the bin directory open the command prompt and simply start the elasticsearch.bat file. Now this will start the Elasticsearch server soon. Okay, I think it's done now. Let's try to check the Elasticsearch is live or not on the IP address. So I'll simply type 192.168.0.119 which is my IP address followed by the port number 9200. Now, if I type this, you will receive this type of information which means that our Elasticsearch is now up and running. Now in the similar way, similar way, we are going to start our Kibana. So let's go to the Kibana folder. Let's go into the bin directory and here you will find the Kibana.bat file. Now again, if you have not edited the IP address in the Elasticsearch, you can directly start Kibana because this will uh, by default look for the local host uh, uh, as a Elasticsearch. But in our case, we have modified the local host to the IP address. So we also need to mention this in the Kibana config file. So let's go to the config kibana.yml and simply paste here the IP address and the full URL of your Elasticsearch. So you can get this from simply copy this and simply paste it here. I've already done this. Now save this file, close this file and let's go back to our Kibana bin directory and open a command prompt here. Simply type in kibana.bat and this will start the kibana this might take some time initially to start okay as you can see here that it says now as you can see here that it says that the kibana the server is now live at this particular url so let me just copy the server and let's open this in browser and you can see that it's loading the elastic service which means that sorry it's loading the kibana which means that we have successfully installed the kibana so from here you can see all the options we have and everything so i think we have installed fluentd we have installed kibana we have also installed elasticsearch so now is the time to start pushing data from our raspberry pi to elasticsearch so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel